everybody. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, anyway, come with me as I clean my kitchen sink and share a bit of what I've been up to lately. It's been a busy summer so far between getting our house ready for the baby's arrival. I've also been spending time uh, researching homeschool curriculum. This next school year is going to look very different for us uh, because we're going from public school to homeschooling again. And this time we're going to do it with a newborn baby. So it's going to be really interesting. Um, we have homeschooled in the past, but God granted me the privilege to work at a very sweet elementary school where I was able to bring my kids with me. I learned a lot from everyone there. And one of the main things that I've learned there that have helped me in other areas of my life is how to teach with grace and patience and understanding, which I didn't have before, but I feel like I'm more prepared now. I really loved my job at the school and I enjoyed working with young kids. I didn't, it didn't feel like a job for me because I was always looking forward to going to work and, um, and just interacting with my coworkers and the students. I really, really enjoyed working with kids. Um, but you know, God had a different direction for us this year, and we had to exit that season of our life. Um, there were many tears, and our hearts hurt because we really love our school family. And um, but it's okay. <laughs> the last school, the last day of school, was one of the hardest days for my kids. Um, but we are grateful for the time we were there and the friendships that we have now. Uh, but it's time to start homeschooling again and prepare for a new season of school. I had my kids take some reading assessments and math assessments earlier this month. I also opened up my homeschool backup uh, at the, in the state that we live in now. I got in touch with a homeschool co-op group and I became a member of our county's homeschool association. So we can go on field trips and park days with them. Um, on top of that, I have been busy with doctor appointments, um, play dates, pool days, and yeah. And the list of things I have to do will continue, and especially since I'm trying to cram all this stuff in the summer before I'm due. So anyway, I wanted to share a little bit about how my life was back in the day when I was a younger stay-at-home mom um, the first thing I could tell you is that I took it for granted big time I took it for granted um, because I made myself very busy with a lot of responsibilities that I can now see were not my responsibilities to take on um, it completely drained me and on top of that I had super high expectations for my th uh, then three-year-old and my five-year-old to learn to read, write, add, subtract, and do all the things that I thought they needed to do instead of enjoying them and loving on them the way that they needed me to. And I was really busy stressing over not doing the right thing with them, even though I was, you know, like, obviously the right thing is not... Um, teaching your three-year-old to or expecting your three-year-old to read at a first grade level that's like that's unrealistic and I realize that now but I was so busy stressing over that stuff that I was making myself sick but anyway it honestly took us moving out of state to realize how much we needed a break from our busy lifestyle and I'm just talking about my lifestyle as a home uh, as a stay-at-home mom at the time I'm not even mentioning how busy my husband was and how much he worked so but yeah it, it our priorities have changed a lot um, and my heart is grateful for it because we were able to move out of that state um, and have a different mindset in the new state that we live in now um, I think that in that in my case, God allowed us to work ourselves to the brink of sickness to teach us a lesson. Now we strive for a slower, more peaceful life, and I see that God has used that to teach us to rest in Him. 
Sometimes the seasons we are living in are vital to teach us to stop and trust in God that everything will work out in the end. I know that this, this season of preparation is going to end soon and our time of rest will, will be coming soon even though we're going to have a newborn baby. I have a new understanding now of how God wants me to teach my children. God has prepared my kids as well to be more open-minded on how to learn and uh, learn from me and other people. So anyway, I hope this video encourages you to slow down, breathe, and trust in God that everything will be fine. I'm looking forward to sharing with you all the homeschool curriculum I chose for this year. Um, and I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.